Okay, so we're on the passive amplifier project, um, and we found we're looking on the internet. We found some ideas, and we found one picture that um, we might like to base our work on. So there, we've got a, a, a hole where the sound is amplified. We've got a phone there, and some sort of connection in between the speaker on the phone and the back of that uh, hole, so that the sound can echo, can amplify through the um, through this hole here. So what we need to do first of all is to record this in our book <coughs> um, and it's going to take a bit of glue stick, just a little bit on the page and stick it in. So that's what we're using for inspiration. Now we're going to do uh, an exploded isometric sketch of this and to do that, to make that easier, we're going to put a piece of isometric grid paper underneath the page. Notice the word top, that goes at the top. Strangely enough. So, there we are. Now, I'm going to draw that. I'm not going to draw it exactly like that because I won't be able to make it exactly like that. I'm going to draw that how I could make that. So, first of all, <clears throat> I'm going to have a back piece, which is that bit there, I think, and that'll probably be, I'm going to make two pieces join there, I think. There's the back and there's the front of it. So, I'm going to draw that first of all. And I'm going to draw it so that it looks like it's just been taken apart. Now I'm drawing over the lines on the grid sheet and I'm sort of turning, making it easy for myself, I'm turning the paper around so that my arm draws in its most comfortable position. Notice that the lines I'm drawing are faint at this stage. I'll just leave that for a minute. I'm not quite sure how far that's going to go. Um, now, I want to draw the other piece in front of it. So I'm just bringing these lines forward a bit. And I'm going to draw it about there, I think. Now you won't necessarily be drawing one exactly the same as mine, but it's the technique that you'll be using, and it's called isometric drawing, or isometric sketching, and um, this is exploded isometric. The exploded means that it's drawn so that the person looking at it can sort of understand how it goes together. And if you start to think about this, you'll find a lot of things in everyday life are drawn like this assembly instructions for flat pack furniture is one that comes to mind. Right, there's the front piece, that's where the phone is going to sit in there. Um, so I need to mark this point at the back here on this one. That's for, as far as that goes there. And then I need the hole for the um, uh, <coughs> the amplifier bit. So what we do here is we draw a square at the same size as the hole, so that the circle would fit in it rather, and then mark halfway along each side. And then I'm drawing a uh, part ellipse in here, and then the same line this side, and then a slightly tighter one in this corner and then the same here and then on the back we do the same thing you might find this slightly fiddly but um, that's the advantage of doing it this way in the sense that you can play it um, over and over again till you get the hang of it So that's the hole there. We don't have a hole in that one. We might have some kind of cutout, depending where the speaker is on the phone, we might have uh, a cutout in this part of the um, uh, frame so that we have um, uh, a connection there in between the speaker. We might be in the side, it depends but we can work that out when we do the phone, when we put the phone against it. Now, to make your drawing stand out, don't rub anything out, just go over the guidelines in a slightly harder pencil, pressing slightly harder. To 
turn the, don't be afraid to turn the book so that your arm draws in its most comfortable position. Now, what I would suggest is that when you come to do this, you watch it all the way through once, and then you adopt the usual watch, pause, do strategy as you do yours. You keep it in your mind that there should be lines only over the lines on the grid sheet underneath. Right, so you can annotate that with how you might make it. So that would be cut with a hole saw. Uh, that would be cut with a scroll saw, possibly. Uh, and they would be held together with PVA glue. And of course you could adapt it by making it angle back slightly so that it um, looked like that. You could either cut the bottom off or you could make a stand behind it perhaps. Stand it up. All sorts of ad adaptations are possible.